Welcome back. On today's video, I was going to give away my secrets to finding pine resin. When it's getting hard to find, or during the winter months like it is now, or if you're just having a hard time finding them because the pines are so healthy. Thick bark, they're, they're so healthy. How are you going to find I can find resin easily. I didn't see anywhere on the internet giving away this, so I don't have a problem showing you guys my secret because I trust you guys and you're into forest management and sustainability like I am. So here's the deal. Just go where the beavers are. They're mowing down the trees, so on today's video I'm going to show you what to look for. You're going to see sap to resin in all the different stages. And I'll show you examples of trees that, I don't, for one reason or another, beavers just given up on it and they have fought back and the trees have healed themselves. So we're, we're not here to steal their band-aids. In fact, we're here to help them with their wounds. Because we can get some of this resin while helping the tree in return. We can get, it's, some of it, it's crystallized and, you know, the, the, it's fossilized for so long it's hard it's hard as a rock it's like smooth like glass some of them and we can take some pieces and also the sap that's still you know soft and a little bit sticky you can press back into the tree and help it so we can take a little from the tree and give back a little to the tree as we try to get some for myself I'm getting resin for aromatherapy and pine and taking this sent with me back home so again I'll show you how I do it and trees that have recovered from massive beaver wounds so cool so this first exhibit would be a perfect example how this tree there's not much to take from this tree but where we benefit is the sap has ran down the bark onto the ground and it's crystallized onto the ground so we're just taking it right off the ground you're not taking anything from the tree but look at what this tree is going through yikes all the way around the tree and without stealing from the tree right off the ground so there's a nice crystallized white pine and we're also on that search for the orange amber kind of so here's a tree in distress but we can still utilize without taking Here's a tree who has fought back, is currently fighting back, has regrown bark back in stages. Still alive. And you can note that it is still it's hard as a rock right there here's a good example of a tree that can do it here's a tree under attack Look at 
this hardened layer. That's all good stuff. You know, there's so many choices out here. You can just wait for a, a tree that has already passed, that is dead, and come back and get all the resin you need. Here's a lovely uh, example of a tree that has, I'd say, won the battle. It is still producing small amounts of sap right there, hardened over time. A little bit right there, but the bark has grown over. Press it in to help it bandage itself. We are procuring and curing at the same time. This one's also a giver. That is fresh and clear. It's good to see that it's healthy. It's not a nasty, yellowy, pussy kind of dirty relic. This is. A healthy tree fighting and it's been fighting for a long time Look how thick that got.
So what a perfect example this was. Maybe this tree got snapped by a high windstorm. I don't know, but it had everything we needed. And it just goes to show, don't start taking from the first tree you see, because you know, look around, chances are you'll find what you're looking for without having to hurt a thing. Poor thing. birds in the tower making noise so when you start to begin to look at trees as living things and know that they have tissue it's tissue that brings the water from the roots to the crown of a tree they have tissue and one percent of every tree is, is living as live cells and the other 99% of the non-living cells help support the tree, the nutrition and its growth. So, every tree is something special, has a story to be told, fruits to bear, resin to give, and respect to be gained. So yeah, I'll leave you with this shining example. And again, please subscribe if you're enjoying uh, my videos. This is the only platform uh, I'm asking for people to join. Um, and thank you for your support. It only encourages me to do more and keep bringing you the magic and mysteries of the forest out here. Re reporting live and signing off. See you next time.